Good morning, Minecraft, and welcome to The Wolf Den in the Raw, an experimental, uncut, and unedited, totally naked, pre recorded bonus bonus footage of me building and furnishing new homes in the Wolf Den town. Come on, place it. And then that's wrong. Okay, yeah, I wanted to grab it back. Oops. Okay. No! Uh, really messing up on this glass here. I believe we put a block here. Yeah. And then we're going to have... Is that right? I think that's right. It looks right. <laughs> okay, now for the easy part. Just placing stone blocks here. I'm probably going to have to come back later and figure out how to put in some windows. Maybe just single strip windows. But that down there is going to be a swimming pool. <laughs> not, not really for swimming, but there's going to be a pool of water down there. Um, that uh, library over there is the blackened library. It has lots of flame and fire and lava and stuff. So what I'm going to do with this building is kind of more of a uh, a water element to it. But I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to put in the, the main structure of this building first and then come back and add the, the accents later. It's what I did in my first library back in the world of Arch Spore. I created the the outside structure. In fact, I was intending it for intending for it to be more like the Empire State Building or something of um like apartments or condos. Just this giant, massive tower is what I wanted it to be. But that was before I, I realized that the world limit was only 128. So I got up to the world limit and went, uh-oh, what am I supposed to do now? So I ripped out the top floor and put in an arboretum, I believe is what it's called. It's a... Uh, it's a biodome under glass, or biosphere under glass. So what I put up there, trees and, and grass and flowers. But I didn't think of putting that up until... Actually, I got the idea for it from something Armitage built. He had one. It was in a a full glass sphere. So that's where I got the idea of to put in uh, plants and trees at the top of my library. It was from, from his biosphere. It was an actual sphere. <laughs> It looked pretty cool, so I wanted to try making something similar. So that's what I did there. Um, not going to do something like that here, I don't think. What I do want to have are gardens around the outside of this building. 
although I think there's not enough space on the outside to do some decent gardens. What was I doing? Oh, that needs to be a stone, stone block. There we go. And then two in the middle. And then the arch. Go. I'm not sure if the outside of the building is going to be gardens or more pools of water. Um, since this is going to be a, a water thingy, I was thinking, should I put actual gardens or pools? But we will find out when I get there. I'm using up a lot of glass. Lock, 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 the easy parts. Yeah, we're almost... I think we're a third of the way through the episode now. Okay. That needs to be glass, lock. Glass, glass. Okay, I actually have to think about what I'm doing, otherwise I end up making just massive mistakes. Glass, lock, glass, 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 block. Like I did over there on the other side. It was a lot of mistakes, a lot of falling down too. No, because it's not right. I need to go glass and then a block and then two blocks and then glass followed by a block, two panes of glass here, here, and here. And I think after building a whole bunch of really tall towers and stuff, I've kind of gotten over the uh, the issue I used to have with uh, whoa with the heights. <laughs> I used to be terrified of the uh, of building tall things, but you know what? I just kept doing it and doing it over and over, challenging that uh, urge. And I believe uh, using creative mode definitely helps. It helps a lot. And then you get used to falling down and dying all the time. After a while, anyways. Okay. Here we go, up here. Now, I think I might have, oops. I think I might have enough time to go around the whole thing and put in the next material, the spacer material, which is, of course, this clean stone. So if I hurry, I might be able to get that. So I'm going to grab just four full stacks of it. And if we hurry, I'm going to grab another thing of dirt too. Because I need to put dirt in the middle there. out where the dirt is supposed to go. Okay, 
that's where the dirt is supposed to go. And like I said, when I start actually putting in that window, that round window, I will definitely let you guys know what this building is modeled after. Um, I feel that I've given out enough clues over the last 20 episodes that you guys should have been able to figure out what it is by now. Um, I think I will even be putting up some of the floor plans that I've downloaded off of the internet. I'll be putting them up on Facebook. So, um, this episode or next, you guys will uh, get to see those floor plans, and I will be announcing what the building actually is. But, as for today, my hard drive is now full, or there are actually two hard drives full of footage that I've been recording, which each hard drive is a little under 500 gigabytes. So I filled up uh, an entire terabyte of footage recording these episodes. That is a lot of footage. So what I'm going to do after this episode, and I'm hoping it doesn't go over. Oh, it's still pretty early. So after this episode, I'm going to have to go and edit videos and compress everything and clean up my hard drive. Um, could take me several days to edit that much footage, but tomorrow evening, which is going to be Monday for me, I will start uploading. And you guys, I'll probably be posting the, uh, the first Facebook screenshot tonight, and then upload the first episode tomorrow. So if you guys haven't been checking with my Facebook up to this point, uh, where is he? Oh, there he is. You fall down. Uh, not going well. <laughs> okay, just got rudely interrupted by a skeleton. Yeah, there's no light up here, so I frequently get visitors. That was close. <laughs> that was really close. Oops, didn't want to do that. Alright, so before I was so rudely interrupted, I was trying to say, uh, check my Facebook, guys. There's, there's going to be... Uh, frequent updates, um, screenshots are going to be uploaded prior to the episodes actually coming out, so you guys will get uh, previews on that. Um, I will be, about the time that this episode comes out, I'm going to upload the uh, the actual real-life floor plans that were drawn for this building, and it looks like they were actually drawn uh, 1600s, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how old this building actually is. I'm guessing that it's four or five hundred years old. So, 15 or 1600s is about when these plans were drawn, so they look like something Leonardo da Vinci would do. <sighs> Who's beating on my door? Somebody's... I don't have a door over here.
are you doing? I think there's a zombie inside the house hitting the door. That's just not nice. We have enough time to go and fall down. <laughs> I was gonna say, let's go see if we can find the zombie that's beating on my door. No. Sorry, kitty, can't help you. Let me finish this episode and then I'll come play with the kitty. Who's beating on the door? It's not that door. Now I'm hearing zombie noises. Definitely hearing some banging. What are you banging? in the bathroom trying to get out. Apparently there's not enough light in here. A torch there, and a torch over there. And a torch there, and a torch over there. That should be... That should be enough now. I'm glad he didn't break down my door. That would have been annoying. But it looks like this episode is almost over. And now I have two levels. Hmm. Let's head in and take a screenshot from the second floor, I think. Well, let's take a look at the first floor first. Yeah, let's take a screenshot from the second floor and then we'll call this the end of this episode. Okay. Screenshot. This is One Wolf saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.